If you're an entrepreneur, you're almost certainly going to face times of failure where something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, of business downturns where either the entire world or your entire market turns down or your business specifically turns down for some reason. Or maybe it's just rough patches where things aren't going the way you wanted them to or times where you have unrealized expectations. I was really hoping to do this and it didn't turn out that well. And so the question is, how do we deal with these well? So, so that you know, my wife would laugh if she saw me talking about this because I've traditionally not been very good at this, but I'm working on it and I've come up with some things that I'm using to manage my own situation mentally, emotionally. And part of that is a sports analogy that I want to share with you. It's this. When you have one of those downturns, failures, unrealized expectations, whatever it is, that you, what you need to do is to not look at it in terms of like in sports, to go back to my sports analogy. Okay, I was in this track race, I didn't win. And so the, the wrong answer is to say, I'm a failure. Because you're probably not a failure, you just didn't win. It didn't come out the way you hoped it would. Doesn't mean that you're a failure. So this process requires active mental management where you are not only managing your physiology, but you're managing your psychology in this process. And so what you need to do is you need to focus on how can you use this situation to give yourself additional motivation around an opportunity to improve? Okay, so I didn't win this race. This is an opportunity for me to do better next time. Not, I didn't win this race, therefore I'm a failure. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go take up underwater basket weaving or... or tennis on the moon or something like that. So it, it, many of us have been involved in sports in our life. And we've, and almost all of us had some losses that happened during that period of time. And what ends up happening is you lose on Friday night. So you come back on Monday and you say, hey, I'm determined to improve. Now, how do you do that? I'm determined to improve. Well, the first thing you do is you say, I'm excited for the next time. So we got another game this Friday. I'm excited because that gives me an opportunity, a target to improve to, and an opportunity to demonstrate to myself and to others that I actually have improved. And then another key thing is to look at the progress that you've made during this period of time. So I ran five seconds faster on this race than I than than I ever have before. Or I ran the middle section of this race better than I have before. Or I had a great start or I had a great finish. Even though you didn't win, you had pieces of it where you did succeed. And sometimes even if you didn't run a personal best, you can look back three years and you can say, look where I've come from rather than look, I didn't meet my objective on this particular race. Because every one of us has those days where we we approach the starting line and we're just not there or we didn't we weren't feeling well or you know whatever it is you didn't perform as well as you wanted to on that particular one. Well you can always go back and compare yourself to where you were a while ago and it becomes very powerful. And I suggest you actually take it apart. Take what you did Let's say you had a product launch or something like that. You take it apart, looking for opportunities for improvement. So it could be my start, my finish, my second leg, my third leg, whatever it is, and look for specific areas in there where you can improve those. And so you're looking for not only opportunities, but then specific work to improve those specific weaknesses, okay? So I got winded in the third lap of the mile. So therefore I should be doing wind sprints this week to build my 
my stamina so that the next one I don't have that problem on that third on that third lap. Now the key here is this. Don't quit. Just because you didn't do as well as you hoped, that doesn't mean that you should quit. Now, there are times in life, obviously, where something's just not right for you. You know, it's like, I was never any good in gymnastics. Why? I have almost no control over this big lanky body of mine. And, and it's like, this sport was not for me. Well, it's very few times in life that you have something that comes up like that where you actually, it makes more sense to quit. In most cases, it's the answer is not to quit. It's to get better at doing what you're doing. Again, you may not achieve the goal of running a world record in your next race, but you can get better. There's only one person in the world who can run a world, who can hold a world record at a time. There's millions of runners out there. Only one holds the world record at any point in time. You can be a good runner. You can be a successful runner and not hold the world record. And in this process, to get there, you need to work on actively managing, not only your physical state, but your mental state in that process. And part of this process, the thing, one of the things that works for me is to prove them wrong, okay? There's somebody out there who said you couldn't do it. Prove them wrong, especially those who have an incentive for you to lose. So it may be your competition, it may be someone who loves you, who wants you to be spending time sitting in front of Netflix with them instead of off working on your business. So they actually have an incentive for you to not perform as well. Well, your dream is higher than theirs in this situation. And I suggest you prove them wrong and keep working so you can succeed. Now, every once in a while, we get a major failure. So from the sports analogy, this may be an injury, okay? You pulled your calf, whatever it is. Uh, you broke your ankle, whatever that is. In, in, in business life, it may be a, a major failure in a launch that it's like, okay, I've always done half million dollar launches and this one just came in at 100,000. What just happened? Major failure. When that happens, think about it like an injury. What happens when you have an injury? You actively work your way back to top performance. You've got to fix that big problem to actively work your way back to top performance. And how you do that is you go get this with physical therapy, sometimes surgery, sometimes, but basically exercises to strengthen your specific needs so that you can get better and actually recover from that situation. Now, the challenge of this is just like a major injury or a major surgery or something like that. You want to get there overnight, but you can't. It just isn't going to happen. It takes work to actively change and recognize that mentally and emotionally that it's going to take time. I still, you know, I remember my mother-in-law, as she came out of, of her surgery and was going through all this physical therapy, and she says, I don't like going because it hurts. And it's like, yeah, I understand. But anytime you're recovering from something major, it's going to hurt to fix it. It's not going to be easy. So it's going to be hard, painful work. Approach it that way so that you can get there. I remember running wind sprints. Wind sprints, when you're a miler, means running a lap, a whole lap around the, the track in less than 60 seconds or less than 58 seconds or less than 55 seconds or less than 52 seconds over and over and over again. So you may do a track, a track practice where you run 16 to 30 
less than 60 second laps. Why? Because you're train, trying to train your body. This is what it takes. This is what it feels like. This is the pace you're on to run a 58 second lap. So that when you're actually in a race, your body falls into 58 second lap mode. That's how you do it, but it hurts. It's hard. And at the end of it, you finish a lap, you get to rest for 60 seconds, and then you do it again. Why? We're trying to build stamina. It hurts. It's hard, but it's worth it. It will work, and it's worth it in the end. But that's how you get there. So just an analogy, a sports analogy. Some will like it. Some won't. I hope it's been helpful for you. Work to fix your specific problems. That's how it works in sports. You don't just keep going working on your strengths. You work on your weaknesses to improve those. Doing that is hard and it takes effort and pain to do it. But don't quit. Focus on doing those things that will really work to improve you. What's your thoughts and experience on this? Let me know in the chat. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Thank mm-hmm. you.